everyone, welcome back to the Toots the Showgirl. And today for this video, we're going to be doing a cooking competition. We will be having cooking competition. This is season one, episode one. Cooking competitions are for kids. So the cooking competition is called Cooking with Twins. Yes. So we are starting to make a nice dish. And we're going to be serving it to judges. <laughs> Let's get started. But before we get started, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Okay, guys. So, we have a certain time to cook. What's the time? We only have 45 minutes to prepare the best dish that you can make a perfect bite. Yes. I'm so excited because so far we've been cooking and we're both in the top. Let's see who can actually be the chef. Okay, let's go get our aprons on and start cooking. Guys, we're here to get our aprons. Now let's put aprons our aprons on. Yeah, let's get our aprons on. <sighs> Oopsie, I need to try to tie. We it. know how to cook meat, fish, and many other food. Yeah, so I hope I can beat you and just stay in the top. It's fun to be in the top. Yeah. Okay. No one's going to cook, but let's just get the timer on. This cooking challenge includes you have to have an A, B, C right away when time starts. When time is done, you have to have your plate and you have to be perfect. It has to be clean. Yep. So you only have 45 minutes and your time starts now. now! Actually, I don't know what Wait. I'm going to cook. Now. Okay, let's go. I actually don't know what I'm going to cook. I'm so panicking. Looking for a variety of food. I consider making a butter pie, so I did that for the last competition, and it's really fun. So I'm thinking I can actually do this dish, this other dish that is a little bit different. So, yeah, let's try something. I don't know what I'm going to make, but I'm thinking of maybe cooking some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I think. Mixing your food. Now I'm just going to mix the honey in with this soy so you can have a nice, beautiful flavor. So, yeah. Do you have more honey? Do we have more honey? No. Oh, we don't. 
a little bit more honey and soy sauce makes the great texture of it so that's, that's not too enough, salty. That's enough. Perfect. Okay. I don't want too much honey or too much soy. So I have to be very, very good with my dish. Okay, I guess that's all. Mixing a uh, sweet baby raised honey teriyaki sauce in a marinade in my container, which will give the fish. Why is it? Why? Give me a break. This is not how it's supposed to be. Oh, that's ter teriyaki. I know that. I so I'm going to pour it in my meal. It's kind of like um, soy sauce. But it, I don't. I thought it was supposed to be barbecue ranch, but it's actually this. We only have thirty nine minutes. Oh and no! I, I'm, I'm making rice. What are you making? Or maybe make pasta, man. Oh, pasta. Or I don't know. I'm making. Okay, I guess my fish and can eat it. My stock is all ready, so that's a good thing. No, I'm going to get all of my. Ingredients, so I need a cutting chopping board. So we should use this for cutting so we don't spoil the surface. Okay. Now I'm gonna get a random fish that I can just pop in the line here. There is cold, so yeah. Now I'm gonna start by opening my packet. Yeah, yeah. I have to make sure I have a clean plate while I'm working. Do you need the scissor? Yes, I do. Okay, can you put this in the fish? So, do the same thing as my sis. I'm going to cut off the meat. I mean the wrapper, which keeps the meat, the fish sealed. And I want to try to make this dish very fancy for the uh, judges here tonight. If you guys haven't watched Top Chef Junior on Universal Kids, you guys can go search it up. It's an amazing cooking show for kids. And really, and remember to download Universal Kids. It's so awesome. The first time we got that first TV. And it really inspires you to cook through your heart. Oh, my, my fish is not so hard. I think I should have gotten a sharper knife. Definitely. I think I should have That's good. Now, I'm not getting this for things to get cooked. Ready? Now, I'm going to get my soy. I'm going to first of all start by seasoning my fish. So, I'm going to have seasoning oil. So, I'm going to have a seasoning oil. Okay, oopsies. It's not coming out. My first seasoning oil is is vegetable seasoning. It's actually a variety. My next seasoning oil is pepper. It's not coming out again. And then my third seasoning oil is salt. Very tiny salt. So first I'm gonna stir the flay. I'm gonna do um salt first. Here's some seasoning. Thank seasoning. you. Yeah. And then I'm going to in the end I'm gonna add a little bit of some some salt. It really, it really blends in. Sorry about that. So now I'm going to get my fish and get a little bit of this vegetable seasoning and just spread it around the okay. meat. And yeah, I'm gonna just marinate it so it can get that beautiful taste. And if it doesn't have enough, it won't have a taste or a flavor. It will just be meat with no flavor. So that's the sad thing. I'm going to stuff all those flavors. And then we're going to flip it. Yeah, so yeah, I'm just going to marinate it and that's all. Move on to the next. Secret recipe. So I got like my knife right here. So the thing is, I'm going to cut it into pieces. And then I'm going to get my. 
sauce I made, and I'm going to get a tablespoon and put it inside the lines that I put in. This will give the fish a nice deep stretch, a deep flavor in there with a nice barbecue taste and a deep it's not overpowering the dish it's just very deep inside and then i'm going to add my seasonings because i'm running out of time and 24 then minutes 17 seconds gonna flip it and i'm gonna do the same marinating on the back which will give it a deep taste and i'm going to use some salt thank you so much yes you're welcome thank you Okay, I'm all ready to stir by sauteing it. The plate's trying to work now. I need to get a pan, and I'm trying to get all the fat out. Enough for me, thank you. Now, I don't, I'm not, I don't, I'm not a fan of using that side. So I'm like a fan of that. I don't know. I may use this one because it will burn my skin. Yeah. To the kitchen. And then I'm going to box turn this on to medium so it can just preheat. And then I'm going to add this in while it's getting cooked. I'm going to add my mix of my sauce, soy sauce, and honey so I can give that flavor blended with my seasoning. What I'm going to do is open some of my oil. I'm going to pour about half a cup of oil to my pan. Too much oil. Can I pour you some? Yeah, sure. That's not too much. That's enough. Okay, I put some oil. Now I'm going to wash my hands. It has oil. You have to make sure it has enough oil on the pot so that it, your fish can cook well. And it doesn't burn. Yes. And because sometimes if you don't put oil, your fish will burn. Like, yeah. Completely burn. Yeah, like burn. And you know what? I mean, you have some judge, like judge, like real judges. Burn fish. Now I'm going to just move it around. There you go. I'm just going to let it sit. And I'm not a fan of cooking fish. I've cooked it a bunch of time, but I don't like using oil so much because they can pop and it will really damage your skin. So I gotta be pretty careful what I'm cooking. That's better. Now, when I'm done, when the fish is getting cooked, I'm gonna add some of my sauce to my dish. And I don't wanna put too much sauce. It looks really good. This is like a homemade sauce. So yeah, I've watched a really nice um, teaching video. I've been te I've been going to cooking classes, and the cooking class um and my teachers for cooking classes have been teaching me lots of different ways to cook fish, but meat. Ooh, that smells strong. Ooh. Yeah, I know this is a very strong. I think it'll have a strong flavor. Yeah, I think I put a little bit too much there, so I'm yeah. the real quick for it. So. That's lots. I know. And people don't want to waste their sauce, so they put it so, like a decoration. Okay, I see a little bit of hint, so that's a telling that I should start by, um, you know, putting my fish. My sauce is sizzling, so when my sauce sizzles, that's a yeah. good point that I put my fish. Ah! Oh, my fish, so now I'm going to let it sear over for a few minutes, and now my sister's going to put on ah! the <laughs> so my sister put on her fish, and her fish is going to sear for a few minutes also, yeah. each side, to make it golden brown. Now, I'm going to start cooking. Now, the next thing we're going to do is start by getting some, some little cooking weight. Cooking tools? Yeah. Yeah, cooking tools. To so I can have a good dish. And so it, it really helps at the same time. I can try to cook a beautiful dish to execute my fish. I don't want my fish to burn. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm going to do is turn off my stove like it's right now. And I'm going to put on my sauce in two. So, you should be putting sauce just little bit by little bit because you don't want to put so much sauce that the flavor will go down. I like to put my sauce. I want to make 
sure that the sauce is executed on the dish so that it's all over the plate and making sure that it's nice and good. There we go. That's enough. I don't want to. I'm going to put more to touch it. Oh, no. Let's <laughs> see. My sister is doing so well. I feel so jealous at this point. But I gotta... So I'm gonna real quick get a toothpick and check if my fish is all ready. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even know what you're doing. Now I gotta kind of um, put more sauce on the back, just like how I flipped it. Yeah, that fish looks good. Yeah. Yeah, perfectly seared right there. Yeah, yeah, I think it's really good. Yeah, my, yeah, my fish is perfect. Oh my gosh, so here. So I'm going to try my stuff to about medium. So since my fish is already cooked, I'm going to let that sit right here. And I'm going to get my other side dish, which is mashed potatoes. Okay, cooked perfectly. I'm, I think I'm burning it or something. Okay, yeah, that's really soft. So I noticed when I put some of my sauce, it makes it, that's like my secret sauce. It makes it um, really cooked. So now I'm going to take, make sure it's cooked perfectly as well. Just by getting this little toothpick and making sure, just checking how good it is. Perfectly, it's cooked perfectly. Okay, now I don't want it to get so cold because last time I, I we each one, but I've been serving really nice, I mean, fat full dish. So yeah. So that's how to make mashed potatoes. First of all, we're going to put. Four cups of mashed potato. Let me get that right. Is this enough for Pour my mashed potato next to this bowl in case it's full. Guys, I'm making rice and my rice is cooking. I forgot to add oil. Ah, uh, uh, put oil. Can you help me? can't right now, sorry. I need to reach oil. Um, can you help me reach the oil? Mm. Can you help me reach it's so hard to pour mashed potato. We are back. Okay, so now I'm going to put two cups of water so that the foam of the mashed potato will form up in a nice quick order. the video was on my sister just gave it to me like random well i am right now i checked my fish i'm gonna rewarm it before i serve it and now i'm cooking some rice and i i added vegetable oil and it's really good vegetable oil is so good when you make rice the rice turns out perfectly so now my rice is inside here I'm just giving it a nice mix. So I'm gonna add some soy. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna use my extra sauce to serve it with the rice. But if it's not enough, I'll have to make another sauce to go with the rice, or like a soup. And then I'm going to probably saute. Um, not sear because I sear the fish. Saute some other food that can really go well with my food. You know, yeah, I'm just gonna stick my cookie. There we go. The stove's on, and now I'm just gonna cook. Okay, and I think I can mix in a few of some nice foods. Wait, am I allowed to mix in some vegetable soup in inside here? Oh, ah, yeah, okay, I guess I'm going to get some vegetable seasoning and add it into my rice. That's gonna be delicious. Now let me give it a start, and yeah, you guys can come see how it's looking. Here's how it's looking. I got a little bit of some seasoning, and I'm just gonna mix it in so it can blend in with my rice. I'm gonna let it sit and cook because you cannot keep, um, and when you're making rice, you cannot keep on mixing it when you're cooking it. Because if you're mixing it, the rice is not going to get cooked. So you have to let the rice sit. You can pull this out another.
another dish, and then uh, like a few minutes later, it will be cooked and already. So that's a good thing. Gonna start by this. Try to check me. Okay, perfect. Now I guess I'm gonna work on my other dish. Check the rice. Check my. Okay, so not that cold. Potatoes looking like very halo, very still. So I'm gonna mix this up, which is super, super, super still. So you see, kind of looks like pieces. Well, you're not gonna like something okay. it. Oh no, my rice is so I'm gonna need to whoa. Okay. So I'm gonna need to add some salt and then I'm going to add some butter to make it all moisturized. Rice is getting perfectly all cooked and it's bubbling. So I don't think this rice is gonna take a long time to cook because I put vegetable seasoning, which gives it a little boost. So I'm cooking faster. So I guess while it's bubbling, I'm going to let it sit. Mix it for a little bit over a while, and then I think it's gonna turn out perfectly how I need it to be. And my rice is looking awesome. It's white, and then I probably can go add. Some. I probably will add some tamarix spice, but if I'm adding soy and a sauce that I'm making, I think I'm not gonna add tamarix. Now we gotta take a look at my food because. I realized that I misread the instructions. I was supposed to put water, salt, and butter first, and then add the mashed potato. But since I already did, I'm going to add a little bit on my own twist. So I'm going to add butter, which will give the nice texture of it, and will melt it quick. And then... Some salt. Yeah, you can add probably that. Looks so good. Come on. So, wait, it's bubbling a little bit. Sit. And then I'm going to add some sauce. So I'm thinking of not only leaving my sauce like this, but I think I'll have to make a little bit more sauce because I got very tiny sauce left. So I guess I'm just going to add make more sauce while this is cooking. It's too hot. Agreed. So now I'm going to add my milk so that, because you can see the smoke, it's basically burning under. Want to switch places, so yeah. Or okay, okay. Oh yeah, I kind of burnt under there. Ooh, what what happened? What happened? I didn't have the great texture of my food, and I don't know if I'm gonna go home <laughs> today. You won't, Dorcas. Oh my. It's not even. This oh, is why I don't like eating mashed potatoes. Hey, your mashed potato is thick. No. I know because I did not make it. Mashed well. potato is supposed to be thick. It's I know. It's supposed to be a parade. You know that. It looks right? horrible. I can't. I have to restart my dish. I'm not starting this to begin with. She is restarting. Wait. I want to see how much time. So we got nine minutes left. I have to restart. Nine minutes to cook my rice. No, we're gonna add an extra fifteen minutes, okay. so we're gonna have one hour. Oh no, hear that, Bobby. I have so, to restart my dish, guys. My my rice is getting cooked. I'm gonna let it sit. It's cooking pretty fast. My fish is good. I'm gonna just check it with something. Can I use this? Now I'm gonna. Ooh. That's definitely honey. I taste a little bit. I see it. So that's so slimy honey. -ish. That's probably it's. It's really. It has a soft. Oh, that's cooked perfectly. Okay. Yeah. Two cups of water. I'm gonna rewarm really this. Um, excuse me, Sylvia, you're back. 
two cups of water. Is my this burning? I'm going to get an expert's check. Um, we have expediters, which are mirrors, which will. No, I ran out of salt. I ran out of salt. But the thing is, there's no more salt. You see it? Oh. Sorry, sir. So you see, is this enough water? Yeah. Right? I'm really good at cooking rice. And I feel happy about this because this looks good. Because this is actually um this is um Okay, I forgot it. You don't remember, do you? Yeah. No, this is actually Uncle Ben's rice, and Uncle Ben's rice is really thick looking, and it's soft inside when you bite it, and I think it's going to really match with my fish that I'm making. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, funny. Look. Oh, there we go. I don't know if my rice is cooked, but it looks cooked to me. So now I'm going to have a taste of my rice and see if it's nice and has that juicy flavor. I'm going to have a taste. Check your mashed potatoes. Good, cooked, disgusting. Mm -hmm. I'm not burning the pot. I don't know. Cook, but a little bit hurt. You might want to recook that a little bit. Recook? Yeah. Cause that's how it's gonna get hurt. First sauce cannot go to waste. If you have extra sauce, add it to another dish. So I'm gonna add this extra sauce into my mashed potatoes for the plating and then for the I'm roughly. What are you adding, Sylvia? Yeah? Are you recording? So, I'm going to add water so it can get a little bit of juiciness because right now it's not juicy and it's very, like, very dry. So, I'm just going to add a little bit of water so it can get blended in. And I'm going to add more water right here, as you can see, so I can get it. This has lots of rice, so don't think I'm adding so much water. I need lots of water. some tomatoes. I'm gonna like dice them to give them the biggest uh, so yeah. My sister will be wreck next. Ah, ah. This video will take, I think, 45 minutes or I don't know. But oh, we have time. And not half the time. Where's the knife? Right here. So you have to cook your okay. eggs. Okay, sorry. Those Can you mix some them. two eggs? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to be using the tomatoes because, of course, we don't want to waste, but I'm going to have some spices in my dish. I'm going to cut a few spices. Oopsies. Did you get a ah! <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Don't worry. I was in a rush. This time it's really bad. So it looks like I have to cut these really neat. Because they're serving them into real judges. Scratch, scratch, and scratch. Start by 
like cutting some of my eggs. Cause you know. Can you cut some eggs for me? Cause I don't have to. How many? Two. Okay, can you put some oil in the pan or something? Cause I did. Two. Uh, okay, I didn't actually do it. You're the one that has to put the eggs in. I can't do this. I have a bunch more stuff to do with my dishes. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. So nice, perfectly nice spices. Oh no, seven minutes! Oh no, are we allowed to add more? Nope. Uh, this is real. You have to follow the rules of the game. Sorry. Unless you want to cheat. Okay. Half cutting with a knife. Now to cut with a nice safe knife for kids. It's kind of a little bit more fast, but I don't have to like take my Come time. cook your eggs! Okay, okay, I am. Thank you very much. Did you know you can also just put butter with the egg so I can cook better? Really? Butter. I'm going to be confused. Wow. That's weird. Now hurry up. There's actually no time. You actually have to put those eggs okay. right now. You are wasting this ass. Nice, perfectly cut tomatoes. Um, does my fish? I don't. I don't know. Do you even cut your fish and see if it's cooked? Yeah, it's cooked. It's cooked perfectly. Do you cut it? Um, I. Do you cut and see inside? I'm gonna check that after. Do it. Five now. minutes. You have to do it now. Don't cut it. Don't spoil the cutting, please. Don't spoil and then like say we don't know which is which eggs. Or only finish. But don't spoil my cutting because I really worked hard on this and all that. Ooh, that's perfectly tenderly cooked. Yeah, that's perfect. I told you, but I think you spoiled it. No, I didn't spoil yours. I'm cutting mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is mine cooked perfectly? I didn't check. He didn't, oh, you said it was perfectly cooked. And then I, I, was, mine work. I thought you were saying to me. Oh, I'll check yours. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, I guess I'm going to mix these with my eggs. Four minutes. You have to get those. Oh, no. Quite a little raw. No, no, no. Oh, no. I'm going to go mix my eggs. What I'm gonna do is add some of my spices, which is some tomatoes and some delicious, um, what's this, this green spice called? Jalapeno. And jalapeno. So now I'm gonna kind of mix in my dish. Thanks for my fish, which makes jalapeno. Better. Guys, my fish is not fully cooked and I only have three minutes and I don't know how else I need to warm there. my fish. So I'm actually very scared right now. I really hope it cooks in time and I can serve it a plate. Okay. This is my Zoe, you have to cook your fish! Okay. You are me! Quick! Now, should I pour it? Can you pour it for me? I'll help my fish. She's not the best. Okay. I'm actually not making, like, beautiful eggs. I'm just, like, kind of smashing it. Yeah, Kirby smashing it. It's like how Mom makes, um, the eggs when she's making the valley. Do I, can I just mix it? Yeah, just mix it. That's what I did. This is what Tasty does. Can you scoop that camera? This is exactly what Tasty does. She makes her egg nice and tender. Okay. Oh my! This is a my fish is not even cooking well. How do I serve raw fish on a plate? I forgot to put salt. Oh no. Oh no. Two minutes! Two minutes! I forgot to stir. Or I let's add an extra stirring in it? Nope. This is very hard. Okay. Oh no, where's the flipper? Where's the flipper? I need a flipper. I think I burned. 
burnt it. Okay, right. so it's getting burnt just a little bit, but it's golden brown. So that's the biscuit. Look at that tender. Is it cooked? It's perfectly tender. Is it cooked? Yeah, that's cooked. Look at it. It's perfectly tender and I, it's not raw anymore. One minute! No. Uh, you gotta remove that so it's gonna start burning. What? Your fish is gonna start burning if you don't remove it. So now we gotta start cleaning. We only have one minute. No, we only have one minute! I'm serving like dry rice. Uh oh. But I'm gonna add it stuff so it, it won't be dry. This is chef life. You have to be brave <laughs> when you're a chef. And serious. You have to be brave. Even when you're like, because this girl named Kate, she was not brave at all. And then she won. And she wasn't going to be like, sent home in the next generation. I think this is a little bit. That's enough rice. I don't know. That's hot. Oops, that's I hot. Gotta, I gotta cut this. I gotta cut this in pieces. Oh my. Well, I, need my, I need this fish to get... More. I can't serve this middle. This is like burnt completely. I need a half to serve this rice. Yeah, how do I serve this in a dirty plate? 50 seconds! 50 seconds! Cold the day, so now I have to put some salt and I have to warm it. My fish and mashed potato will taste good. Here's my plating. I mean, I might have put a little bit low because I have fish, um, some seasoning and a sauce and some mashed potato. I might have not put many things, so I'm going to try to add some because I still have some time. So. <laughs> Egg, seared, yeah, seared fish, seared eggs, seared tomatoes, seared spices. My soy sauce, I'm homemade soy sauce with some honey, some rice, and some vegetable oh. seasoning, garlic. We got all different types of flavor. Garlic. Yeah, because this sauce, vegetable seasoning has garlic. Oh, yes. So I made some parmesan cheese mashed potato with some meat and tomatoes. So let's go ask the judges and let's see how our meals taste for the judges. You guys actually got raw fish on the plate, so my sister realized that her chicken is raw. We real quick going to finish that, so yeah. So, I have made you some rice with some tomatoes. Um, Let me tell you what I made. Louder. Um, I have made you some rice with some tomatoes and some, what's the green thing you call it? Jalapeno. And some jalapenos to give it a little bit of spice. Mm -hmm. I even added some fish with some soy sauce and some stock and even some vegetable seasoning. And on the side, I've got you some eggs, some tomatoes, and I didn't have time to add some salt, but I hope you mm -hmm. get a taste and some jalapenos. I think it should be balanced, not only on one side. Oh, wait. Should I test only one side with uh, the salt and not test here? Uh, taste here. It should be everywhere. Oh. The taste should be the same, right? Yeah. So I can test anywhere I want, right? Yes. Okay. Then this is egg? Yes. This side has the flavor. I have made you some parmesan mashed potato with. I can see your face. Oh. Mm -hmm. I made some, par <laughs> some parmesan mashed potato with cheese, seasoning, fish, and the tomatoes. So what did you say? Did you go and I got some parmesan mac and cheese with so cheese, mm -hmm. um, some barbecue seasoning on the fish, mm -hmm. and yeah. How about we taste some of my locusts? Oh, it's nice. 
architecture class of this test What do you have with the fish? How did you make a fish? I made, I seared my fish with some salt, pepper, and cheese. Very tasty. Thank you. Actually, very tasty. You may tell us the winners when we're done. I think the winner is Dr. I can tell you right now. Thank you. Just because of uh, the fish has got some good taste on it. Your food, the season was really good. But it wasn't balanced all around. Oh. But you had a big meal. I can take it back and eat if you want me to. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank good you job. so much, sir. Keep up the good job. Okay. Oh. Thank you all for watching this video of us cooking. This is season one, episode one. And we'll keep on cooking till the end of the season. Thank you all for watching, and we'll be uploading a trailer. Bye. Bye. Thank you all for watching, and we will be uploading also chef stuff. Do you guys know what a puree is? Do you guys know what a pouch is? Do you guys know what Why are you a souffle is? Do you guys even know what sear and saute means? Well, you all will be learning that. In our next videos, thank you all for watching. Subscribe down below, hit that bell, and turn on notifications, and give this video a huge thumbs up. Please make sure to subscribe right down there, right down there. Woo, woo, woo. Thank y'all.